What's up, everybody? This is Colin from Holistic Heritage Homestead. I hope you're all well. We are in the kitchen, dinner time, making it happen. Folks, I felt compelled to share some things with you, and I feel that a lot of YouTube videos go too much into detail. And I want to give you rapid fire information, quick ideas, quick recipes on the fly, as we would say in the restaurant business, that you can do with ease. I want this to be fun and motivating and encouraging so that you folks try different foods and do different things. Now, we have our own beliefs and what I would call opinions regarding nutrition and diet in this household, but this is open to all. If you like animal proteins, if you like produce, vegetables, you should be good to go here with us. So, I'm not going to get into the dietary stuff and the nutrition, the nutritional end of things too much here. I'm just going to touch and go. But folks, there's healthy eating and then there's healthier eating. Now, we all want the ideal. We all want to eat the ideal diet all the time, the perfect diet. But first of all, what is the perfect diet? Different video, right? Second of all, lack of resources, lack of money, what you have on hand. Are you a busy person? So this is a quick dinner. I'm doing this relatively quickly. And I just want to give you some ideas, folks. So this is just rapid fire coming at you. I'm not going to show you step by step exactly how I grill everything, how I cook everything. I will do videos like that in the near future, especially now that my awesome wife is back in action. And I believe this week she will be coming out with one or two videos of her own. So... I will have somebody to film me to get into more detail, but I just want to encourage you folks. So getting right into it. All right, here we go. Normally we eat grass-fed beef. This is not grass-fed beef. Didn't feel like the frosting or anything. It was a late night. Grab what they had at the store. This is a more fatty ground beef. I think it was like 73% lean, perhaps. But when it comes to burgers, in my humble opinion, you don't want to go any higher than 80% lean because you want the fat. You want a fat in your burger to keep it juicy. That's the way to go, in my opinion. All I did for this, Worcestershire sauce, salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic powder. That's it, okay? That's it, that's it, right? Moving right along. Artichokes, globe artichokes, okay? These are prepped already. I use what you would call, well, I'm missing a spot. Oh, yeah, someone fell asleep. I don't know. But these are prepped. I cut the bottom. I guess that would be considered the stem. I cut the, I guess, would be considered the petals. I believe artichokes are flowers. I tried growing them this year. I failed. That's the truth. Now, someone's going to say in the YouTube world, actually, they're not really flowers. They're in their family of blah, blah, blah. I get it. Artichokes, delicious, awesome. Learn how to cook them, right? These, all I'm gonna do with these folks is I'm gonna boil them slash steam them for about 10 to 15 minutes to soften them up and then I'm going to grill them and char them up really nicely and every side, every angle. So you get to enjoy the, again, tell me how stupid I am in the comments. I know so many of you love that. It's actually funny to me. The petals and then the heart at the bottom. Different video. So many details to go into. Moving right along. Portobello mushrooms. Who doesn't like portobello mushrooms? This, I did a little different because life is about doing things on the fly. With what you've got on hand, I didn't want to go downstairs and get more brown sugar, so I used, I didn't even use sugar. I used balsamic vinegar, a good balsamic vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, oregano, okay? And ketchup, actually, because I was looking, because ketchup had the sugar in it. I was looking for that sweetness. So ketchup, a little tomato paste, a little tomato. Cooking is about experimenting. It's about food science. It's about acids and bitters and salty and all that, right? So once you learn how to cook, and one of the, 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 the books I may, may write at one point in my life will be Bachelor Cooking. How do you cook on a budget, as a guy, by yourself, with leftovers in the fridge? <laughs> So if you understand food science, that makes it easy for you folks. So you take that right over here. Boom, how you doing? Give it a rub. 
quick marinade, what I call a flash marinade. This is fast. This is not overnight. This is, we gotta have dinner ready. This is average person, real life stuff. Hatch chilies, okay? These, I'm gonna grill these at high heat. These are probably gonna go on the grill first. Order of operations, project management. I'm gonna grill these. I'm gonna turn these pretty much black, all sides. Now these are the hot ones, so these are starting to turn orange slash red, I guess you would say. And then you sweat them. A lot of people recommend putting them in a plastic bag, a Ziploc bag. You know how I feel about plastic? <clears throat> no. So I'm gonna to try to sweat them after I grill them at high heat in a glass container. And then the skin should get soft and peel right off. You're looking for the flesh underneath, okay? Looking forward to trying these folks. I haven't tried them yet. And then also we have some brats, more animal protein, okay? Now when you, brat, when you buy brats, Whatever it may be, whatever you style. There's, there's, a, there's a spicy one. There's a, there's a one that's, a, I think, like bacon and cheddar or something, right? Don't ever assume that it doesn't need more. A little salt, a little pepper, sprinkle of garlic powder goes a long way. Same, same thing for Italian sausage. Salt your sausage. Black pepper, okay? A little salt, all right? You need to do that. Don't skip that step. Don't be lazy. Come on now. Take seconds to make it happen, to make the flavor right, okay? They did the work for you. This is easy. The only thing that will be argu arguably not good for us from what we consider from a dietary or nutrition standpoint would be the white bread, cheap buns that we're going to put these awesome burgers on. And the fact that these are probably corn fed and not the healthiest. Let's be realistic, okay? Grass fed is best. We normally do eat grass fed, but for reasons that we're not getting into, this is what we're working with. And that's what I want to do is I don't wanna make you feel guilty if you don't have the ideal beef. Enjoy what you've got on hand, folks, what's available to you and what you can afford in a timely manner. So the white bread burger buns, that's not gonna be so good. The deli had closed by the time I got to the supermarket. Now, what did I do? I normally buy white American cheese because white American cheese is normally just naturally healthier than the yellow American, which has dyes and things that you do not need. Fun tip for you. White American, yellow American. Go with the one without the dyes. The more natural, the better, okay? So we have a smokehouse cheddar because the deli was closed. I bought something in a package. It seemed relatively straightforward and natural. Looking forward to that on some nice white bread. We like, or I like definitely, white bread Cheap burger buns when it comes to burgers. Some things, the multi-grain, the this, the that, is just not as good, in my opinion, when you're just craving an American ham burger, all right? So that's it, folks. I just wanna to touch and go on the subject. I want you to be motivated. I want you to be encouraged to try different food. Cook, do what you can. Always go for the healthier options. If you notice, everything is Animal proteins, normally it's high quality animal proteins, but this is just fun tonight, okay? Vegetables slash produce, little mushroom, some chilies, okay? This is how you should be eating whole foods. Very, very affordable, healthy, delicious, nutritious. And that's what I wanna do, okay? One last thing, order of operations, okay? High heat, when the, I'm using a charcoal grill. I'm gonna put the chilies on first, boom. Second, the burgers, I want high heat. Third, I'm gonna put on these mushrooms. Fourth, I'm gonna put on the artichokes. And then last, when the, when, the, when the heat and the charcoals have died down, I will put on these brats and let them slow and low. How you doing? Gonna be delicious, all right? Let me know what you do on the fly. Let me know what you do to make sure you eat well as a family. And let me know if you have any tips when it comes to these particular foods that we're, we're doing tonight because we had a craving. And let me know, pour your knowledge into the comment section because I am so impressed with how many intelligent people actually watch YouTube, folks. Also, don't forget to tell me how stupid I am. Is this a flower, is it not a flower, is a vegetable, is not a vegetable? What's the deal? Are those petals, are those stems? Talk to me here. Nothing but love, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell icon so when I come out with more videos in the future as far as cooking, you can learn how to cook, how to impress people. I don't need to go into detail. I give you the basics, that's it and you're good to go. Take care.